February 19, 1945 will always have a place in our history. I would not be free if it weren't for the sacrifice of others. At 17, I wanted to join the Marines, but my mother would not sign my paper. So I had to wait until I was 18. I didn't know anything about war. I didn't know I was going to have to kill people. I, wa I just wanted to save my country. One month after my 18th birthday, I was ready to go. We had no idea where we were going. We were just shipped out. On the way to Iwo Jima, that's when they told us that's where we were going to go. And military leaders initially thought that the attack would only last a few days. Yeah. Well, we had just taken Guam that was something like 19 miles from shoreline to shoreline. Now we're going to deal with this little island that's only two and a half miles wide and five miles long. It, it ought to be a piece of cake. But it wasn't. No. The Japanese had a strategy based on the landscape. That's right. The mountainous terrain, the jungle. And tunnels. Somewhere between 14 and 19 miles of tunnel. So it made it very difficult. They wouldn't surrender. When the war finally ended and you went home, you received this country's highest honor for valor, and that's the Medal of Honor. I want to read to you really quickly the description that came with that. It says, Corporal Williams daringly went forward alone, covered only by four riflemen. He fought desperately for four hours under terrific enemy small arms fire. At one point, you grimly charged enemy riflemen who attempted to stop you with their bayonets. You survived. They didn't. I did, yes. I never heard those words until I got to the White House. But if they had come to me and said, it, is this all accurate? I would have said, take out one word. He went forward alone? No. Because I had four Marines protecting me, and two of them sacrificed their lives doing that. You know, they never touched me. In that four hours, I never got hit. Why? I don't have the answer to that, except there was a reason. Perhaps it was to share your story. Well, I guess, and I've said this a number of times, that the day we were born, we inherited two of the most precious gifts. One is the gift of life. And the other precious gift is the gift of freedom.